Check it out. New pickup. It's a yard machine riding lawnmower. Has been sitting out in the field for a long time. And uh, in this video, we're going to see if we can bring it back to life and see if it'll start. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Quick walk around. Um, it doesn't look like it's in too bad of shape. It has been sitting outside, so everything's a little bit oxidized. Seat's got a rip in it. Missing the battery. Um, now, the worst thing is it was sitting outside and it didn't have the air cleaner on it. So when I got it, there was a bunch of water down in the intake. So we're gonna have to get that carb off. I did rotate it a little bit. It seemed like it moves, so that's a good sign. At least it's not locked up. Um, I think first thing we're gonna do is uh, pull this carb off, pull the spark plug out, put a little oil down there, and uh, make sure it makes a full rotation around when we crank it over. So um, I'm gonna go get some tools and we'll get you guys set up in the stand and get into this one. Okay, I just got that plug out. It looks pretty good, actually. No rust on it, not fouled, pretty good. So I'm just gonna stick a little bit of oil down there just to make sure it's nice and lubricated down in the cylinder. Same with over here on this intake side. Stick a little bit on that intake valve. And uh, I think I'm gonna go get my jumper pack and we'll see if this thing will spin over. Okay, we're just gonna get this jumper pack on. Now we should have power. So let's go see if anything uh, works up front. Probably don't want to put that seat down because that's metal and that would spark. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Um, hey, sweet. Turns over. Sounds good. Starter sounds a little bit clinky, but um, maybe we will check to see if we got spark. Maybe stick it right there. It's weird. I'm seeing it like the threads have a little bit of spark jumping in from the metal but uh i don't think it's actually sparking so we might have to uh pull this top off and look at like the um flywheel and make sure everything's 
good under there. So I think we'll get that pulled off and check it out. Okay, we're just gonna get these zipped off quick. A couple 10 mils. Okay, so one thing you wanna check is that uh, this surface right here is nice and clean and then also on your uh, coil is nice and clean. And um, one other thing you wanna check is to make sure the gap right there is good. You wanna make sure it's even on both of them. Usually you can just stick like a, a card in between it. There's a special measurement on what it should be, but that looks about good. Um, so I'm just gonna hit that with some sandpaper, clean that surface, clean that one, and we will test this out again. You can see all that rust that was on those. Okay, boom, I uh, cleaned up the coil, got those connections nice, and um, I actually also stuck a different spark plug on, and we're getting good spark now. So I think next up, I'm gonna go take this over and um, start disassembling it, get it cleaned up, and then we should be ready to fire this thing up. Forgot to mention, but uh, when you pull this cover off, you want to make sure you get all this dirt off. Um, these are air cooled. They need to have good circulation or else they're just going to overheat. You can see animals like to get in here and make a mess. So get that cleaned out and then you'll have a nice cool running engine. Okay, yeah, let's get into this thing. Huh. That's a strange setup. It's got a diaphragm. So basically you can see it goes up and down. I'm not sure how flexible that's supposed to be. It's not hard, but see how it's kind of pumping like that. So that's what's gonna pump the fuel in. On this side, we got this fuel shut off. And this is gonna have a little needle on it. And when you put power to it, it sucks that in. And then when you turn the key off, oh, see, that's kind of gummed up. That might not even work. Um, when it's, uh, when you turn the key off, then it sh this comes out and it shuts off the valve so no more fuel comes in. Yeah, I'm just not giving this much hope. This O-ring up here is deteriorating. This uh, little diaphragm is kind of flaky and stuff. I don't even know if it's working how it should. So with these newer carburetors, when it becomes like plastic and little diaphragms, you basically just got to get a rebuild kit. But I'm going to get this tossed back together. Maybe we get lucky and it works. Okay, I just want to double check to make sure this uh, little uh, fuel shut off is working how it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna, yep, it's working. So that's good. Okay, we got everything back together. Um, we don't have the fuel line hooked up. I think I'm gonna just see if it'll start off of a uh, little bit of carb cleaner so here we go
gonna get a little bit of fuel. I'll just hook up a little um, side tank. Okay, update. Um, we got a new carburetor. I ordered this on eBay. I think it was like 15 bucks maybe. Um, so I think this thing is ready to start up. Um, we tried to save the old carburetor, but the rubber gaskets and um, O-rings inside were just too deteriorated from age. So. I'm thinking this should solve our problem, and if we got good enough spark, this thing should fire right up. So I'm gonna go get a battery and some gas, and we'll see if we can get this thing fired up. Okay, I uh, just cleaned out the tank, put some fresh gas in, new fuel line. Um, so I think this thing should run now. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of that. Let's see what happens. Uh, that's not a good sign. I think the starter must be. Might have to rebuild that starter. Dang. Uh, before we go pulling that starter apart, let's just double check to make sure it's the starter. So I'm going to put my ground right here and then just stick a screwdriver in here. Tap on this positive right here and the starter should engage if it's good. Okay. Um, so that's engaging, so I don't think that's the problem then. Okay, so to that starter issue, I don't think the starter's bad. It's just um, maybe like the starter solenoid is going out. That's why uh, I'm able to just put 12 volts right here to the starter with the key in the on position, and then it starts right up. So um, I think I'll eventually try to figure out where the starter solenoid is and get that replaced, because I think that went out. Um, but for right now, I'm just putting 12 volts right to the starter. Um, we're getting these tires pumped up and then we're gonna hook a, hook a rope on the back here and see if I can pull the Civic. Um, it'd be cool to have something to tow all of these cars that don't run up into the driveway. So um, stay tuned and we're gonna get this thing set up, see if we can tow it. We got the car um, hooked up. Now we just gotta jump start this thing.
Well, there you go, guys. That is how you tow a car with a riding lawnmower. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.